Greenwood Lafleur Airport IATA, GWO, ICAO, KGWO, FAA LID, GWO, is a public airport seven miles east of Greenwood, the county seat of Lafleur County, Mississippi. It is owned by the city of Greenwood and Lafleur County, but is actually in Carroll County. The National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2011 to 2015 categorized it as a general aviation facility. There are no scheduled airline flights. Topic History. Topic. <laughs> World War II Greenwood Airport was built by the United States Army Air Forces as a basic flight training airfield. Greenwood Army Airfield was the home of the 7th Basic Flying Training Group BFT, and assigned to the Eastern Flying Training Command. As built the base had four 5,000 by 150 foot 1,524 meters times 46 meters runways and a 50 acre 20 hectares concrete parking apron. The pavement required was the equivalent of 65 miles 105 kilometers of two-lane highway. In addition, there were rail lines which were used to deliver gasoline and oil as well as coal and freight. On occasion, a troop train would venture onto the base to deliver or pick up cadets. There were 375 buildings, including, three fire stations, a 170-bed hospital, theater, chapel, recreation halls, post exchanges, mess halls, warehouses, barracks, a photo lab, parachute building, hangars, a sub-depot, link trainer buildings, ground schools, a large swimming pool and myriad of other buildings necessary to run a small city. Because of a housing shortage, the Army later added several hundred apartment units known as Green Air Homes. They were home for many enlisted men and their dependents as well as civilian workers. The airfield had many auxiliary landing fields to support pilot training. Payne's Auxiliary Field 33 degrees 54 minutes 23 seconds north 090 degree 05 32 W Oxbury Auxiliary Field 33 degrees 17 09 N090 degree 02 49 W Avalon Auxiliary Field 33 degrees 38 minutes 47 seconds north 090 degree 04 09 W Kerger Auxiliary Field 33 degrees 20 minutes 58 seconds north 090 degree 10 feet 30 inches W T. Chula Auxiliary Field 33 degrees 09 05 N 090 degree 12 feet 42 inches W Greenwood Municipal Airport 33 degrees 29 minutes 45 seconds north 090 degree 11 feet 51 inches W Greenwood AAF was also home to a contingent of Women's Army Service Pilots WASPs. These women were rated to fly everything from B-24s to fighters. During the peak of basic training activities, the airfield averaged about 36,000 operations per month and the aircraft consumed millions of gallons of aviation gasoline annually. The original mission of Greenwood Army Airfield was basic flight training and the base was home to several hundred consolidated Volte BT-13 and BT-15 Valiants. The BTs trained thousands of fledgling military aviators. As basic training evolved, various twin-engine trainers such as the Cessna at 17 and at 8, and the Beechcraft at 10 Wichita were brought into the inventory in an effort to make the transition to advanced twin-engine schools easier. This idea never fully developed and the aircraft were stored in serviceable condition. The field also had the usual complement of Nordwien Norseman UC-64s, Cessna UC-78s and C-45 Expeditors. On December 18, 1944 the Eastern Flying Training Command turned the field over to the 3rd Air Force 4th Operational Training Unit The 590th Army Air Force Base Unit was reassigned to Greenwood AAF from Brownsville Army Airfield, Texas. The arrival of the 4th O2 brought two new missions to GARF. The BTs were replaced with its six Texans and scores of fighters, including the P-51, P-47, P-38 and P-63, which were used for fighter transition training. A C-47 instrument school was also introduced and more than 20 C-47s were based at the field. 
Other aircraft assigned to GAF included a B-17E Flying Fortress, several B-25 Mitchells and an L-5 Sentinel. Third Air Force operated the airfield until flight training ceased in late 1945 and the base was placed in caretaker status until being turned over to the city of Greenwood by the War Assets Administration. As late as 1948, the Army and War Assets Administration maintained a fire station and a small contingent to look after the dormant air base. <laughs> Post-war history For the next 21 years the base was abandoned and most of the wartime buildings disappeared. In 1967, the city of Greenwood made a decision to relocate the Greenwood Municipal Airport to the abandoned Army Airfield. Runway 523rds was lighted and placed in use. Weeds were removed from the miles of expansion joints on the otherwise intact ramp and a new rotating beacon was installed. At that time, only 16 of the wartime structures included the old sub-depot remained. At the time the airport was relocated, a new FAA flight service station was constructed. Eventually, runway 1836 was repaired and outfitted with new high-intensity runway lighting and an instrument landing system with MALSR. In 1989 a control tower was commissioned, and in the early 1990s runway 1836 was lengthened to 6,503 feet and strengthened to accommodate wide-body aircraft. Topic. Facilities Greenwood LaFleur Airport covers 816 acres 330 hectares at an elevation of 155 feet 47 meters. It has two asphalt runways, 1836 is 6,501 by 150 feet 1,982 by 46 meters, 523 is 5,011 by 150 feet 1,527 by 46 meters. In the year ending March 14, 2012 the airport had 42,116 aircraft operations, average 115 per days, 87% general aviation, 10% military, and 3% air taxi. 57 aircraft were then based at the airport, 53% single-engine, 21% helicopter, 16% multi-engine, 5% jet, and 5% glider. See also Mississippi World War II Army Airfields Air Transport Command 27th Flying Training Wing World War II List of airports in Mississippi